dear friends this is my tutorial for in crystal explorer software so in this tutorial i'm going to teach you how to get or create asphalt surface and fingerprint block using crystal explorer software using this software we can identify the nature of hydrogen bonding and pi pi interaction and also the ch pi interaction and etc so this is the asphalt surface of urea crystal structure so this is the fingerprint plot of this corresponding molecule so i will teach you how to get these two kind of things for this urea crystal structure so first we can open our crystal explorer software so this is our crystal explorer software so before that you should have your crystal structure so if you have your own structure you can also use if you don't have the crystal structure you just go to that uh, ccdc website you can download it i also made one another video how to get crystal structures from ccdc so, uh, website so now we will see how to make this asphalt surface and fingerprint plots so first open this using this folder one So this is the urea crystal structure, just you can click it and open. So you will get your urea crystal structures. So using this mouse center button, just you can uh, do like this, you will uh, you can easily rotate like this in this crystal structure. So now here one more NH2 is missing. So you should add that NH2. For that, what you have to do, just go to here. See, this is complete fragment. If you click this one, it's automatically add that complete the fragment. So before that, there is no this NH2 fragment. If you click this one, it automatically adds. So this is the urea molecule. So now what we have to do, we have to make the crystal structure of this urea. So for that, what you have to do, so just go to click this show height contact atoms. Contact atom means, so that there will be a, a one NH, this is a CO actually. So that there is the hydrogen bonding with urea, this O. So we need to find that one. For that, what you have to do, just to go to this show an eye contact atom just you can click it you will find this kind of atom so now what you have to do go to again here this is complete fragments so here you will see the number of atoms so we, we don't want this other atoms so we want only the completed fragment only so for that what you have to do just you can uh, Come here, so an ID atom, if you click, it will go. So, now all other atoms gone. So, this is actually crystal structure of this urea molecule. So, for that, we are going to make asphalt surface and finger point plot for this urea molecule. So, here you can see there is the uh, strong hydrogen bonding with this molecule. You, you can see here. So this uh, NH H is interacting with this uh, O and also this uh, 2H. So you can see this, this one, one more NH, this one more H and uh, NH will interact with this oxygen. So there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 hydrogen bonding is there with this O. So we can see this uh, hydrogen bonding using this asphalt surface. And also the finger point plan, uh, plot. I will tell you how to identify that one. So now we have created crystal structure of this urea molecule. So now what we have to do? So we have to select one molecule from this crystal structure. For that we have to double click of uh, this molecule. Yes, so now this urea molecule is selected. 
So you need be before going to get the, your asphalt surface, you need to select your atom. So there are different kind of atom is there. Another atom also. This is the main molecule. So we are going to see the interaction in between this and this molecule, intermolecular interaction. So oh, now what you have to do? Now you have to go to after selecting this one. You can you can see this. Uh, I like this one, generate surface, just you can click it, here you can see asphalt, here none, and here also I standard. So this already I told, so detail in the description and the turn to input advance, no need to see this one, uh, just you can click OK. So here you can see small man running like that, you can, you can find this, so that means the calculation is running. Yeah. Our surface generation is completed. So by pressing the center button, you can rotate your molecule like this. You can see. So, so here you can find. So if you see this red color, that means uh, strong hydrogen bonding. So this blue color means there is no the weak some interaction is there. There is no strong interaction between this. Uh, place and another molecule. So if you see some gray color things, there is no interaction at all. So if you want to see the transparency of this uh, urea molecule inside the one, just you can enable this. So you can see your urea molecule inside the surface. So this is the thing. So now you can find this. So the four NH atom interacting with this O atom with the urea molecule. So there are four kind of dark red colors there. That means the strong contact is there between this uh, NH and the O. So we can uh, we can also make uh, 2D plot of this finger front plot. So that also very easy. So what you have to do? So if you want, you can also save this image using that uh, strip tool. That is the simple. Then now, now we can see the uh, fingerprint plot. So you can see here, like display fingerprint plot is there. You can see this is the fingerprint. If you click this one, you can get your fingerprint plot. So this is actually standard fingerprint plot. So this is the whole molecule. So you can see this uh, dark uh, green and red color is that means the the strong uh, NH uh, NHO interactions. This two is mainly on this uh, two interaction. This you see this uh, NH this NH interacting with this uh, O molecule. So this two interaction. So this is the things. Then we can also get that. Uh, segregate this uh, interaction with uh, different atoms. So if you want to only see that uh, COONH, that means OONH, you can also separately you can see here in 2D plot. So I will show you that how to do. So here you can see standard. So you can also click this expand, you can see some big one. So you can, we can keep it standard. Here you can see filter is there. This is the filter. So if you click this filter, you can see the by element. So we can get a different kind of uh, interaction using this by element. So the plot is the DE by DI. If you read the paper, you can see that DE and DI. This is actually D noun plot. Our plot is actually D noun. You can see this the aspect surface is the D noun. Okay. So now we can see the NH. So now you can select this by element. Then what you have to do? So so if you if you put uh, keep all on, you can see the hundred percent surface area included. So now you can see how much contribution this NHCO is there. So that also you can see. For that, what you have to do, you can also see that O atom, O atom of the uh, urea molecule and 
H atom of the NH. Just you can select. So we can also include reciprocal. Reciprocal means so other side NH OH atom. That is means uh, the, the this only calculate the only N, this H. So if you click the reciprocal, it will also show the another side. So the total surface contribution is see this is 37 percentage this O and NH you can also see this here so this 37 percentage included that NH this H and this O this O and this NH this is totally 37 percentage in that paper also you can see they also got 37 percentage 36 point 6 something they got so bond distance is 2.071 this also 2.071 this is the uh, intermolecular intermolecular hydrogen bonding so you can see here only you can see this uh, two things so this is a re reciprocal thing so if you uh, i think there is no strong hydrogen bonding with that so if you see c and h so very low contribution only so you can see this blue color means the weak there is no interaction like this so if you see the strong red color the strong interaction that is short convent so like this So that's all this video. So if you want, you can make this a full, uh, full fingerprint plot. So if you want to stand, so by element, just you can uh, choose based on your uh, interaction. So if you have other interaction, just you can select to see the molecule and see the corresponding interactions. That's all. So you can use this uh, things to your publication. It's very useful. So if you are doing any crystallography studies, so you can try to utilize this software. It's very useful. Thank you for watching my video. If you like my content, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Enjoy.